Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So today we're going to be talking about a post where I did a little case study between whether you should use Tailwind Tribes, Tailwind Smart Loop, or both. Um, and I also talked about this free Google Analytics dashboard from Christy Hill. So if you're on my website, it'll be below, obviously. If you're in YouTube, it'll be um, in the description below. Those three things. So uh, Tailwind Tribes, Tailwind Smart Loop, or the free analytics dashboard. And I just wanted to um, show you this behind the scenes live, because sometimes I feel like if I can watch, I totally am, if I can watch something, then I can absolutely understand it better. So this is my um, Pinterest dashboard for my Marketing Artfully website. It's right there. And I wanted to show you, so I had almost 9,000 Pinterest sessions. And 600 of them came from tribes and then 800 came from smart loops so that's my me so tribes are where you share to other people and you guys kind of all put them into a pool and then people share what's relevant to their boards and then smart loop is where i'm sharing my own so what i think is so interesting is this dashboard shows you your top pinterest referrals so this is First off, overall, my best Pinterest pin. Okay, do, 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 do. And we want to see what this is. Um, we want to see what this is for a number of reasons. We want to see if this is how the design is. What happened? It, I did promote this pin previously, so is that helping this ongoing? There's a lot of things you can do. But here's uh, where it gets really interesting. So my very best pin from the tribes came from creative referral program ideas where I got uh, 69. Now I'm here to tell you, I am not getting 69 hits from Google. I am not getting uh, that from Pinterest on my own. That's because I used that tribes feature and I shared it with a group of people. Let me show you that real quick. I don't want this video to get long. Um, but so this is this is what the tribes look like. And this is super cool. They just show started this where you can see how many shares you've gotten for each tribe. But so this is my Creative Entrepreneurs Lab tribe, and they have shared. So I could share their content. And, and on most of the tribes, you have to share one thing, um, and then you get shared that amount. It's really kind of easy. It's easiest to see here. So I have shared 108 items, and I've posted 58 items but so i am getting how to do social media audits for bloggers etsy sellers etsy 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 i feel like marcia 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 um etsy 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 so they really like etsy they like colorful pins the other nice thing about tribes is you can really start to get an idea of what would be popular to share in the broad scheme of pinterest if something is dying on the vine, okay, let's go down here to things that have, like this is dying on the vine, nobody shared it. Look, these are all dark, dark, dark. Now this has been shared in other tribes, so that's fine. This is new, so I wouldn't expect it. But as you go through your tribes, you can sort of start to get a feeling. And then I have a little sneaky thing over here where I write them down and I say, okay, if I'm going to share a marketing, it should go to these tribes. Social media should go to these tribes. And that's just based on what people in those tribes have saved for me over the course of time. Because your uh, subscription depends on how many tribes you have and how many things you're allowed to post. And so um, you don't want to just be posting to, say, I posted 50 things to a tribe about blogging and they never reposted it that would be a total waste of some of my shares um and then we have smart loops so that was my very oh this you want me to show you this this is my my good pin right okay let's go over here so this is pinterest.com and then this is my very good pin that's being pinned in my one of my tribes I could probably figure it out. Oh, that's just showing my website address. It's not showing the 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 pin. Darn it. Um, and then then uh, this, I had like a little baby viral pin. It had gotten 100 some pins in the day. 
and then it kept doing this. Now for me, I have a lot of information in my analytics because I'm nerdy that way. And goal completions means that they have signed up for my email list. So, um, you know, just with these, we have 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So using these two things, not only does it help me with views to my website and I have ads running on my website, but I have 70 website signups just from that in the last 30 days. And real quick, let me just show you what the uh, uh, smart loop looks like. So here are my loops and my best pins. So this has 55 repins. This has 61 repins, specific seasonal keywords. Um, and that's on not in a tribe. That's in all of Pinterest. And these will just loop. They're going to be looped to different boards about once every five months. Uh, Pinterest has said that they want it to be a lot longer than we would like it to be. But that's okay because the one reason why I really like that is then if I want to manually pin it because something is happening, say I'm doing a blog post about Pinterest and I want to pin a few other Pinterest ones, I don't really have to worry that um, Tailwind is automatically going to post it again to that board really fast. And then one very last thing, hang on, I want to show you my stats for, um, nope, that was paperly. I want to show you my stats for artsy fartsy Pinterest. And I'm using that Christy Hill dashboard for here. And that's my um, my obsessively check my stats each morning uh, drop down list. Okay, so I had, I had um, so you remember on Marketing Artfully, it was almost evenly split between tribes and uh, smart loop because I have a lot of content and it's very old content. And so I have a lot to do where with my new site, Artsy Fartsy Life, I don't have as much content. I have a fair amount of blog posts, but I don't have 800 like I do for um, Marketing Artfully. So for this one, which is a newer site, I got 6,000 tribe sessions and then 200 smart loop sessions, which you know, I'm not very good at looping things, so the, the chances of me getting traffic from old pins are probably not very good, but because I have that smart loop set up with some of those older, when I say older, they're like six months older, um, older pins in there, but the tribes are helping me so much. So they've done not half, but like more than a third of my Pinterest sessions have come from sharing that to those Tailwind tribes. And so that is super exciting. And it just depends on what your site does. You may want to sign up for both and then see which one does the best. Um, that would be my suggestion. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully.